Pretty Pretty interesting. Interesting. And to get to this point, you just had to defeat Chris 6642, who is another part, another member of the Smiley Face crew. Mm. So TCNJ unfortunately taken down, but Judas here the actually Greninja. playing the Greninja yeah. against Terry, which is going to be quite interesting here. I can understand why, though. Like, because yeah. Greninja has the ability to play footsies. That yeah. dash attack is really, really good, but if that is your only approaching option, that can be caught out very easily. So Judas has to play this very carefully and he already getting hit by that jab jab power dunk such uh -huh. a devastating combo to get hit by yeah already a quick 46 percent like it's nothing that down there did 20 percent i <laughs> am just relearning just how ridiculous some of the damage is in smash ultimate but i mean uh Jews is playing pretty confident so far mm. but he responding with his combos yeah and that's the thing with Greninja is that you can't be as messy as you can be with Terry. You have to be very, yeah. very um, organized when playing this character and connecting your combos. Because when you don't, it tends to put you in a really, really bad position. Whereas for Terry, he makes a combo. Hey, I can just downsell it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. God. Terry oh. definitely got some spammable attacks, but you also have that go meter, which is going to be a really big threat. Well, and you already see the threat. I mean, <laughs> that massive hitbox, just the side of it, just destroying. And it has super Jeez. armor. Bruh. Yep. And yeah, I mean, yep. look at that. 64% already, man. Terry with a lead is just absolutely terrifying. Yeah, it, it's like you literally have to take these stocks before 90%. And Terry's not that light either. So he yeah. won't die really early. It doesn't help that Greninja relies on a lot of their combos to be able to kill. Oh my that goodness. shield poke. What? I've that really shield poke. I've seen it all, guys. We've really seen it all. And man, this these go meter attacks have been doing so much work over the stock. You can really see like that 100%, like, I, I gotta say, like, freaking, like, 60, 70% of the hatch have been those special moves. Oh, no, totally. That That's the thing that makes Terry so difficult to play against is the fear factor that Go sets in, Keat has to be super careful. Facts. And the fact that you have, oh, miss input, but no punish oh. from Keat. Here we go. I mean, Keat, with the Greninja here, I mean, like, the inputs with Greninja have to be precise. You really have to be on your game, like, combos mm -hmm. kind of just plays into that sort of human factor of like it's hard to get into combos man <laughs> unless you're luminous not <laughs> unless you're luminous man Anarchy. It's, it's tough i mean Tarek. You're, okay there's a lot of good good into players but it really is yeah no, oh. It's, oh no uh no power dunk there I think. or Probably or no there. rising tackle either but the dash attack gonna be able to do it maybe juice is playing with her food i don't know but i mean she has a pretty decisive lead so far i mean Playing with their food, but kind of playing this game pretty well. Not yeah. being able to land, keep trying to up the pressure, even though they're at the deficit right now. And he's got that air dodge read, and oh. Judas jumps. I think she hit box, her box shifted yeah. with that jump. And all of a sudden, we're at 0%. <laughs> so it's suddenly very even now, which is kind of odd. I mean, Judas has been playing very confident throughout this entire game, trying to get oh. these big reads, but. Heat has not been phased at all. And that's kind of the sign of a really good player with these combos right here. Air dodging a little bit too much from Judas right oh. now. Getting caught out. Keep trying to get that down smash. Both players kind of just panicking. Oh. Not oh. going to kill just yet, but Go is on deck. We know how much that can do for Judas. It's go time. Here we go. I mean, it's going to be pretty scary, hey. but it does not matter because Keat. What a comeback. Oh my god. Yeah, just really <laughs> taking over in that last stock. You know what yeah. I mean? He was so like so much attacks, so much overwhelming pressure. Yeah. You gotta give props to Keith there. Yeah, Keith was like, I got I got shield poked by Go. You're getting shield poked by Up Smash, and you're gonna have to accept it. Because again, what a comeback from Keith. Just making sure that he made the most out of his advantage state, catching Judas air dodging a little bit too early. Uh she was, you know, trying to land as much as possible. Terry doesn't yeah. really have a lot of landing options either. Of course, maybe mixing up with Crack Shoot, maybe mixing up with Power Dunk, but that really leaves you in a very open and vulnerable position to be hit by these up airs. And Keat was really, really good at juggling, even getting these um, drag sorry, downs Sorry, sorry for interrupting. Is, is Judas eating? What is Judas eating? <laughs> Let's see. Haribo. <laughs> She's having Haribo and just in the middle of this set. She is just chilling. Hey, maybe and the I blood sugar's that. low. Maybe the blood sugar's low. Maybe we need something. Yeah. <laughs> Anything will work, honestly, for Judas to be able to make this back. But honestly, I feel that. Like you said, that lead was very, very commanding from Judas. But he, again, making the most out of disadvantage, getting all the hits that matter the most. I'll convert to Judas, and just that lead losing. I mean, if you're Judas, 
That's gotta hurt a lot, right? Losing yeah, that lead. It's tough, but I mean at the end of the day, you still it was still a close game and you still have potentially two games left. Right. You still have an opportunity to win this set, so at this point it's kinda on to the next. And I do like the small battle field counter pick here. You know, the smaller stage, I mean the running the running speed of Greninja is gonna be less of a presence on something like small battlefield, which I like. Mm. Totally. And right but, now, he's kind of making the most out of it. It has yeah, not been hit at all. I, yeah. Now, Keith might just be on a different level Gee. right now. It seems like he took a little bit for him to get going during that game one, but now he is really starting to just hone in on all of his combos. I have not seen him whiff in a minute when it comes it, to those combos. Yeah, for the most part, it is catching Judas in disadvantage. Once again, a lot of what she does off stage is I'm seeing a lot of early jumps, and Keith's kind of just... Oh. Trying to hope that, you know, anything hits, gets that forward air, knock it. Well, I almost, I almost say my words. That did kill. <laughs> that did kill, guys. That yeah, did kill. he's just doing so many attacks. That's kind of hard to commentate this set. I mean, he's just doing so much at once. Really overwhelming he just with the speed of all of these attacks. I mean, you see the shield pressure right here. Jeez. I mean, he's just running around, and Judas is just, mm. I mean, it's too scary of a situation. Nice. Yeah, it is definitely scary, but again, we know what kind of character Terry is. We know the comebacks that he can create. Oh, for sure. And I mean, this is going to get very close to a KO. I oh. think another jab confirm is definitely going to do it. Or and a or big up smash read. That's the sort of confident read that you need to get back into this game. Again, Judas still playing with confidence. And that's why I really enjoyed the set, man. Both of these players unafraid to really put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really concerned about how Judas is trying to recover because she's yeah. been using a lot of early jumps. And Keat has been on point with his reads. Don't roll in. Oh! Well, maybe you should have rolled it not. <laughs> <laughs> Good was... read right there, man. The tech chase is tough. That's the pressure that up smash can do for Greninja, right? It, yeah. that the amount of space that hits, like even if you don't get the sweet spot, it's still going to hit and send you off stage once again, which is where Keat wants to put you. And Judas on the ropes right now, she is potentially going to go to losers after this. I mean, yeah, he is really locking in, but I mean, Juice is not going to go out without a fight. It's going to be it's going to be tough for Juice though. I got to say, he is looking really good just he is so confident with all of this overwhelming attacks, being spaced so well too. I mean, not getting punched for a lot. Yeah. And it's 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 the frame date. Oh, there you go. Buster Wool. Oh. Our guys are not gonna try to two frame potentially. Oh, oh wait. the re grab doesn't what? get punished. Oh well, there okay. you go. Okay, I was gonna say that was how did that happen? Go flee. Crazy, but I mean, you have a very. I mean, you're gonna get KO'd by an up smash or anything. But oh, right. there's no way. The shield pull. There is no way. <laughs> Getting hit by that so much, and it's so scary because like if you jump, you're risking that potential to get hit by that up air as well right and so he not really concerned about you know getting damage off because he had quite the lead but just Straight trying up. to go for those, those, those charging skills. it man dude that's the pressure that Keith that Keith has like put in that entire set was just mm -hmm. holding out moves as long as possible and trying to bait out judas jumping because again like i said disadvantage really was the place that judas was struggling the most yeah she kept on jumping too early air dodging too early didn't have a lot of landing options and didn't mix up with those crack shoots enough to the point where Keating was just getting these fares, these nares, yep. back airs off too. So yep. it was, oh, Keating, what a man. <laughs> a good, good dash back for his match right there. And I mean, he is really just, I mean, again, we, we talk about, I keep talking about the confidence, but when you look at something like that, that was good. <laughs> he's just moving around. He knows how much of a threat Greninja, po Greninja just puts on the opponent, especially a character like Terry that can be a little bit of combo food, can have trouble getting out of disadvant disadvantageous spots. Oh, yeah. And we look like here, I mean, trying her best to land, but it's just not enough when Greninja has a giant water sword ready to strike. Yeah, and she did die a few times pretty early, like unexpectedly, of course, because, yeah. you know, uh, I don't even think she air dodged off stage a lot. It was just jumping and then those hurt boxes uh, shifting and then just slightly inching her towards that blast zone and ultimately killing. Uh, but yeah, unfortunate stuff from Judas. Gonna have to make quite the loser's run to make top eight.
but he showing why you know he's he's here to play that, that interaction was pretty wacky, wacky by the way that was dumb she like, just shrugs at the camera being like what was going on there happens right <laughs> as we see right here i mean this is just hold it Holding down shield. Yep. it's somehow yeah. like <laughs> i don't know how that hit shield poked but that is okay yeah you know what i mean two hits man i i think uh, greninja two definitely hits. needed that uh i mean that move time. the sweet spot too right so it's like it's absolutely yeah. crazy Oh, we got we got some friends coming up. We got